Hey guys, I have a review on the ColourPop new foundation, concealer, and powder. These are all called the No Filter. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the foundation. This is $12 per 0.85 fluid ounces, so a little bit short of one fluid, which is normal, the normal for foundations. This does not come with a lid, but it does close as you turn it, so you can um, travel with it. It is glass, though, so that is something to bear in mind. I do like the fact that it is completely see-through, so you can actually see how much product you are using. I am in the shade Light 65. I felt like this is the one that matched me the best, just watching everybody's uh, swatches and reviews and things like that. This is supposed to be a matte foundation. I was kind of a little hesitant at first because I was scared because my skin is almost normal now. I don't have like oil or I don't have too much dry patches. I'm just kind of like in between. So I feel like it's basically just normal skin now. And I have to say this wore really nicely on my skin. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a demo so you guys can see what it looks like just going on on half of my face. And likewise, I'm going to show in some time stamps as I wore it throughout the day, throughout my 12-hour shift. This did last my 12-hour shift and looked really nice by the end of the day. By the end of the day, I can say it did look pretty dewy, but not to the point where it was like, ew, you're, you're, you're a hot mess, kind of dewy. It was more of a like natural kind of glow, just like your natural sebum po peeking through. So it didn't look nasty or anything like that. So I really, really enjoy this. I did try it with different primers, and I have to say the one that I like the best was actually the one that I just spilled right now because I didn't close this properly. The Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. I felt like this foundation goes on better with more silicone primers. I actually tried to use this with more on one of my glowy ones, which was the... Josie Moran one and it became really patchy with this kind of primer so I do recommend if you're gonna be using this foundation maybe try different primers and see what works best for you for me what worked best was the pixie a rose flash bomb and the ordinary one that I just mentioned so those are just a few things to bear in mind when using this but as you can see through the photos this wore really nicely it still looked really nice the coverage was there and I would say this is more of a light to medium coverage I feel like if you try to really build this up full coverage it can get a little cakey and look just a little too much on your skin so that's just something to depending on your preference if you're going to like that or not. So I do recommend this. I just feel like the shade range is a little overwhelming and because there's nowhere to go swatch it, it also is kind of, you know, um, hard sometimes to pick out your shade because you don't have any kind of reference. And even seeing people swatch them online on different people, I felt like you couldn't really tell certain undertones and things like that. So you're kind of going in blindly or kind of half picking what you think is going to pick like suit you. As far as the concealer, I went ahead and picked the one that was suggested for that shade, which was light 16. I really enjoy this concealer. Likewise, I'm going to be showing a demo. I feel like this concealer is super, super nice. I regret not getting it earlier. I got the one that was a little bit more yellow undertone, which is something that I like. It does add a lot of brightness. I feel like it doesn't really um, cake or go into my fine lines. So I really love that about this concealer. It's very long wearing. I have to say I'm so impressed by this. Now I totally understand why some people say that this is their holy girl concealer that being said it's not a concealer that has a ton ton of coverage like the Tarte Shape Tape it's not one of those really thick ones it's more of a thin consistency it gives you just enough coverage to to kind of cover a little bit but without going overboard so if you're not someone who, if you're someone who likes a really heavy concealer this is probably not for you but I feel like this is just enough enough to cover what I wanted to and to add brightness so I really really like this and the wear on this is absolutely phenomenal I really like the way it's set and everything it's actually what I have underneath my eyes today I just feel like it goes on so smoothing and it's been a long time since I've really really liked a concealer so I really like that one next is the ColourPop no filter setting powder and this is really nice this is a translucent one they do have a banana one but it seemed too yellow and too dark for my skin tone and they have a darker skin tone one so they have three of these the packaging I wish was a little bit wider or bigger it just kind of accumulates in there but I mean for nine dollars you can't really 
ask for much more because these these things are super super affordable as you've been seeing on the screen how affordable they are so I can't really complain but this powder is super nice it's very finely milled I absolutely love this for baking and I'm not someone who usually bakes because of the fact that I do have wrinkles and I always felt like my under eyes could get really really crepey and with this, I was able to really bake and really use it underneath the eyes, as you can see in the powder. I mean, in the powder, in the demo. You can see that I was able to bake with it and take it off. Um, the only thing is that after I bake, I do need a setting spray to just kind of take away a little bit of that powderiness. But other than that, I feel like this really sets really nicely underneath my eyes and helps my concealer. I just love it. I love this for setting underneath the eyes and for baking. I did use this all over the face, but I feel like it kind of gave a little bit of a whiteness to my face and made my skin look a lot lighter than what it was. So that was something that I did not care for. So I like this for setting underneath the eyes, but it's not too much. I have to use the tiniest bit if I'm going to set my whole face with it. And last is also $9. It's the No Filter Sheer Pressed Powder. I got it in the shade Medium. And this is what the shade looks like. I do like this compact just because it has a full size mirror. I feel like this is really, really nice, especially just, I just use this to apply the lashes that I have on. I do love this powder. It's super, super sheer, as you can see right there. It's not something that's going to give you a heavy coverage. So don't think that this is going to be like a powder foundation. This is almost just a really nice setting powder. I love how soft and just, it just kind of goes on so silky to your skin and it doesn't go on matte it kind of gives just a little bit of a satin finish to your skin and I love the way it just sets the foundation it's actually what I have on top as you can see in the demo I absolutely love this and one of the brushes that I've been obsessed with applying setting powders with is the Bedellium this is their highlighting fan but this is too huge for highlighting and I just love this for powder just to like set in my powder love 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 this so Definitely recommend the powder as well. So I have to say I'm very impressed with ColourPop's no filter line. Every single powder, every single product was a hit for me. Let me know how you guys like this, what worked for you, what didn't work for you. I'd love to hear back from you. But so far for me, uh, having normal, basically normal skin right at this point, I feel like this has just worked wonders. I didn't feel like it hung on to my dry patches. And like I said, even if I got dewy, it didn't look like super disgusting. That being said, I don't feel like it's super, super matte for someone who has oily skin because like I said, my skin is kind of normal right now. And throughout the day, it got you know, a little dewy, but I feel like if you're someone who's super oily, this might not work for you. It might become a grease ball mess, so you might have to use something very mattifying as far as primer and setting spray and that, that whole nine yards to be able to make this work for you. So I'd love to hear what kind of skin type you have. Leave down below what your experience was. And yeah, I hope this was helpful to some of you. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that little red button down below. I love you guys, and until next time.